Greetings, I'm Ed Hunter, Dean for Medical Education, and I'm delighted to welcome you to the 2020 Harvard Medical School and Harvard School of Dental Medicine White Coat Ceremony. I'd like to start by thanking Rosa Soler and everyone in the offices of Student Affairs in both the medical and dental schools for organizing this virtual version of our White Coat Ceremony this year. I so wish that we could be together in person, but our goal here today is to maximize the joy for this occasion so that even though we're physically distanced, we can still be socially connected. This is a very special day in the lives of our students and in the lives of their families and their loved ones and teachers and mentors who raised them and taught them and coached them and supported them to get to this day. And I could tell you it's a very special day for all of us who will now have the privilege of teaching them and supporting them and indeed learning from them over the years ahead. I'd like to say a few brief words about this ceremony. The white coats that the students have been given are a gift from the Escalapian Club, a cheerleading group of medical and dental alumni who support student life and student faculty social events, and all members of the class will be invited to join. So a big shout out to the Escalapian Club for their generous support of the white coats, which provide the name for this ceremony. The white coat is a symbol of professional identity, but we like to say that although you get your white coat the first week of school, we all have to earn our white coats every day. A number of years ago, one of our student speakers at graduation opened his address by saying, you know, you arrive at Harvard Medical or Dental School answering most questions, I don't know. Then, after learning from the experts for four or more years, you leave answering most questions, we don't know. To our students, I want you to remember that your white coat is your membership into the we who don't know, but the we who take on an obligation to find out, to find out on behalf of each of your patients based on the most current medical science that's known today, to find out better answers than are known today by creating the answers of the future through your research and by solving the systemic problems that may underlie the question that was asked through your advocacy for positive social change. We call this whole first week introduction to the profession. And you know, there are a lot of ways to talk about what someone does uh, in their work life. So it's interesting to think about where these words come from. Very often people talk about an occupation, which comes from the root occupara, which mean, literally means how you occupy your time and Lord knows medicine or dentistry will occupy a lot of your time. People also talk about a career. A career comes from root carrara, which is like forward motion, like a chariot, or if you, as if you careen through your career. And there's a lot of forward motion. You learn so much every year. You can't even believe how much you look up to the students just one year ahead of you for how much more they know. People also talk about a vocation. This comes from the root vocara, which refers to a calling. And indeed, all of us who are in medicine and dentistry feel a calling to a higher service to others. But the word profession comes from the root professus, the past participle of profatiri, which means to avow before, to swear a sacred oath. And so for centuries, doctors have traditionally taken a sacred oath at their graduation. But the truth is in medical and dental education, you already start caring for patients as students. So graduation is way too late to be taking an oath and becoming a professional. One of the unique things about health professions education is that you actually join us as colleagues in the profession this week, even as students. Very often, the student gets to know a patient better than anyone else on the team. And I always love hearing stories when some very famous Harvard professor has recommended a particular medical treatment or surgical operation to a patient. And the patient tells them that before they finalize the decision, they just want to run it by one other person to make sure they agree with the treatment plan. And that turns out to be the medical student on their team who they've come to view as their trusted caregiver. So this ceremony will conclude with the students reciting a class oath, but not just any class oath, the oath that was composed this week by the students during this introduction to the profession week, during which a committee of our new first year students wrote their white coat ceremony class oath. And just to think ahead some years, the class will also have a chance to write their graduation oath. 
before we all reconvene in person rather than by Zoom when these students graduate. Something to think about. So thank you all for being here. I can't wait to meet you all in person. And again, I want to welcome and congratulate every student who is part of this ceremony and all the family members and friends and teachers and coaches and other supporters who have helped make you, our students, the wonderful human beings that you are, dedicating yourself to the highest calling of caring for others in need. It is an honor to have you as our students and also now as our colleagues in this noble profession. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce you to the incoming Dean of the School of Dental Medicine, Dr. William Ginobili, who will officially start his role on September 1st. Dr. Ginobili is a leader in the field of periodontology and an internationally recognized scholar in oral regenerative medicine, tissue engineering, and precision medicine. He's an alumnus of HSDM with an advanced degree in periodontology and oral biology. He completed his postdoctoral training in molecular biology at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and Harvard Medical School. Dr. Ginobili returns to Harvard from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, where he has served as the Najjar Endowed Professor and Chair of the Department of Periodontics and Oral Biology. I had the pleasure of getting to know Will over this past year by serving on the search committee, and I can tell you how wonderful it is that he will be joining us officially next month. So Will, thanks for zooming in even before you officially start. Let me send it over to you. Take it away, Will. Good afternoon. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to welcome the dental and medical students from the class of 2024 to this white coat ceremony. I would also like to recognize all of your family and friends who have joined us today for this special celebration to congratulate you on the start of your education here at Harvard. Like you, I'm beginning anew as Harvard School of Dental Medicine's Dean and so very excited for this unique opportunity to be here with you. And while a virtual celebration is not what any of us expected during the interview process, here we are. This period will be memorable for sure, but nonetheless, you will be on your way to an amazing journey to advance your knowledge in medicine to the benefit of your patients and our greater society. As your faculty, we are here to provide you with the opportunity to see your dreams realized as you take the next step in your careers. I think back to the first day when I stepped onto Harvard's campus as a student and admittedly it felt daunting to me. Am I good enough? Do I belong here? Can I do this? Despite these initial doubts, I found Harvard to be an amazingly welcoming environment. As your faculty, we know that you do belong here at Harvard. You'll be surrounded by fellow classmates who want to excel and are simply just great people. Fun to be around and work together in a collaborative style. I assure you that you will quickly develop camaraderie amongst your fellow DMD and MD classmates. I've had the chance to read each of your remarkable biographies of our 36 incoming DMD students, and I'm truly amazed by the diversity of your backgrounds and the experiences and accomplishments that you have already achieved in your journey to join us here at Harvard. We are very excited to get the chance to meet each and every one of you in person and learn more about you. The history of the dental school is rich with over 150 years of educating the best and brightest in dental medicine. In 1869, from the inaugural class, HSDM graduated the first black dental student in the US, Robert Tanner Freeman. Dr. Freeman later returned to his native DC to work in private practice and to mentor youth launching their careers in medicine and in dentistry. Our first female graduate of HSDM in 1938 was Carlotta Hawley, a leader in orthodontics. These distinguished alumni and others in all of the clinical and basic sciences have become leaders in their fields and have changed the way that dental medicine is practiced. We are confident that you will carry on this same tradition. For me personally, taking on this role to be among you is a real privilege and it excites me to think of what you will achieve during your short and transformative four years with us. So when we reflect on the meaning and significance of the white coat we wear today, it represents the trust between our patients and us as their caregivers. It is truly an honor to be able to serve others. 
I urge you to remember throughout your training that the white coat comes with the privilege to take on great responsibilities in research, discovery, and education, but also comes with a duty to support your patients. As caregivers, we are fortunate to have individuals who entrust us to take care of them with kindness, empathy, and the knowledge to prevent and treat painful conditions and address chronic disease. Today, as the world faces a global pandemic, great health disparities, and social injustice, this duty to our patients is more important than ever. So you've entered into a program where our schools, HSDM and HMS are inextricably linked. HSDM is a unique dental school, is one of the very smallest, but most impactful schools in the world. When you enter the dental building on Longwood Avenue, above the door is engraved Harvard University, dental school and hospital. From early on, the bond of all who enter is the experience of an education so well connected and respected amongst our dental and medical colleagues. There is such a crucial union between oral health and overall health, and you will learn about this linkage better than other students across the globe throughout this educational experience that you begin today as dental and medical students. So please take advantage of these boundless opportunities that await you. And again, congratulations to each of you today and the recognition of the white coat. We are so excited for you, your families, your friends, and loved ones as you embark on this exciting journey. And so it is now my pleasure to introduce to you the HSDM class of 2024. Gerardo Alvarez. To my family, friends, and mentors, I couldn't have done this without you. I am excited to be part of the class of 2024. Bridget Bain. Bridget Bain, and I would like to thank my mom and dad for all of the sacrifices that they've made for me. I wouldn't be here today without them. Noah Brady. Uh, my name is Noah Brady. I just want to say thank you to my family, my friends, and my girlfriend for the support they've given me during the journey here. Thank you. Caitlin Cardenas. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Christian, Aunt Jenny and Uncle Walt, Jimmy, Mr. and Mrs. Owens, and all of my family. I'm so grateful for all of you, and I wouldn't be here without you. Jose Carrillo. To my family and to my mentors, Dr. Baga, Dr. Stewart, and Dr. Suma, thank you for believing in me and for helping me to come this far. Tahi Chong. My name Tahi means lots of happiness. Thank you for those who brought happiness to my life and I hope to pay for it by bringing lots of smiles into this world. 감사합니다. Sheridan Asadankwa. I'm so thankful for this opportunity. Thank you to God, my family, faculty and friends who all helped make this a possibility. Thank you very much. Love Karen Teol. Hi, my name is Nav. I'd like to thank my parents, grandparents, my brother, all of my friends, and my mentors at Wayne State for all their help and support. Thank you all. I love you so much. Jack Ferreira. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank my parents for their unwavering love and support, my sister and role model, Rachel, and my papa for demonstrating what a caring and compassionate dentist looks like. Love you. Peter Richards Fulmer. I'm so excited to start here at Harvard School of Dental Medicine. Thanks to my wonderful wife, Tori, for all of her love and support up to this point. Elizabeth Garcia. I would like to take this moment to thank my family. Quiero tomar este momento para decirle gracias a mi familia, que nada de esto hubiera sido posible sin ustedes. Ana Garcia Castineiras. To my family, especially my parents, thank you for your love and support. This achievement is as much mine as it is yours. To my classmates, congratulations, and I can't wait to meet you. 
Yu Ying Guo. Hi, my name is Yu Ying Guo, and I'm from Somerville, Massachusetts. I like to take this moment to say a super thank you to my family, my friends, my mentors, and my posse. Vivian Ha. Thank you to my family, friends, loved ones, and mentors for all of their love and support. I am so excited to be a part of HSDM and HMS. Kadria Elizabeth Hargett. Dad, thank you for being my source of love and laughter. Mom, you're the person and dentist I look up to the most. Aaliyah, you're my best friend and an inspiration. Ricardo, Claude, and Anna and Dada, I love you so much. Kelsey Hebert. Hey everyone, I'm so grateful to have been led to this moment by the endless support of my family, friends, and mentors. Special thanks to Mom, Dad, Callie, Ryan, and Luke. You guys are my rocks. Jason Juong. I'm looking forward to working with everyone at HMS and HSDM to build healthier communities. Good luck to the class of 2024. Glory Kim. Thank you to all my family and friends, and I look forward to meeting everyone in the spring. Abigail Marshall. Hi, I'm Abby Marshall, and I'd love to thank all of my friends and family, especially my mom, dad, and Joey, for all of your endless love and encouragement. I wouldn't be here without you. Abigail McVicker. Thank you to my mom, dad, sister, and mentors that have helped me grow as a person, and without whom I would not be here today. Joseph Montesano. I want to thank my family, especially my parents and my grandparents, Dr. Moldau, and everyone at Jefferson Family Dentistry for riding alongside me on this crazy journey we call life. Sapna Nath. Thank you so much to my mom, dad, sister, Nani, and Nana for being the greatest inspirations in my life and for all your unconditional love and support. I love you so so much. Temitope Oshilaja. Thank you to my friends and family for helping me get to this point. Shout out to the shade room and all of my future classmates. I'm excited to learn and grow over the next four years. Madison Elise Overby. Hi everyone. I want to give a huge thanks to my family for their support along the way. My mom, my dad, and Diamond, my sister Mara, and my grandpa. Can't wait for these next four years. Lindsay Knight Pius. Thank you to my friends, family, and mentors for their continuous support, and I'm super excited to join the class of 2024. Go Crimson! Cameron Matthew Rivera. My name is Cameron, and I am beyond excited to be starting at Harvard Medical School and the School of Dental Medicine. I want to thank my friends and family for supporting me along the way, and I look forward to meeting all of my classmates. Catherine Faith Simpson. Thank you, mom and dad, for always encouraging me to be brave. And to my future classmates, I am so excited to start this journey with you. Crystal Song. I'm Crystal, and I'd like to thank everyone, especially my family, who show me so much unconditional love and support. I'm so grateful to be here, and I'm very excited to spend the next several years with you all. Lara Valdez. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive, and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. My Angela. Tian Qi Wei. Hey everyone, I'm Jimmy, and I'd like to say thank you again to my parents for taking care of me, and to the faculty and students of Castle 2024. I believe we have a wonderful year together. See you all soon in Boston. Brent Mayer Whiting. Hi guys, I'm Brent Whiting, and I just want to give a quick shout out to both my parents. Without all of my sacrifices, none of this would ever have been possible. So thank you, and I love you so much. Josh Yang. Ben. Hi, I'm excited to start, and can't wait to meet you guys in person. Shosho Sophia 
Yang. Class of 2024, together we're stronger against adversity in this special time in history, and I'm excited to make a positive impact on the world with all of you. Stephanie Rachel Yang. To my family for always inspiring me to work hard in a career in medicine, and to my friends who always taught me to serve with compassion, thank you for supporting me in my dream. Chloe Zana. Hi everyone, I'm from Paris, France. I want to thank my family, friends, and God who inspired me to pursue my dreams, and my incredible parents for their unconditional support. Jenna Ju. I just want to say thank you to my dad, my mom, my sister Chelsea, friends and loved ones for your endless love and support throughout this journey. I'm forever grateful for you guys. Good afternoon. For those of you who don't know me, I'm George Daly. I'm the Dean of Harvard Medical School. A very warm welcome to our new students and to your family members and friends who are joining us literally from all over the world. Thank you for helping us celebrate this important moment for the newest members of the Harvard Medical School and the Harvard School of Dental Medicine. To the class of 2024, I'd like to say, in one sense, today represents the culmination of years of hard work and dedication, both your own and that of everyone who has supported you along the way. But in another sense, Today marks just the beginning of your evolution from student to doctor or dentist. Today is the start of a momentous personal and professional journey. It will be arduous, no doubt, but also deeply rewarding. By donning the white coat, you embrace the privileges and responsibilities inherent in becoming a physician. You are wearing not only a functional garment, but also a symbol, one that represents the fundamental principles of practicing medicine. Professionalism, honesty, integrity, equity, cleanliness, compassion, and humility. The white coat holds power. Wearing it signifies that you are accepting a call to service for your patients your communities, your colleagues, and your profession. It indicates that you will combine expertise with kindness, showing patients and loved ones that you are worthy of being entrusted with their care. Remember that as physicians, your charge is not merely to diagnose and treat disease, but to heal in every sense of the word. With every encounter in an exam room or on the wards, you have the opportunity to make the world healthier, happier, and more just. And this is especially important to remember now. You are entering medical school at the most challenging time for our profession in living memory. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted global human health, medical education, healthcare delivery, health policy, biomedical research, and more, at once highlighting systemic issues and instigating new collaborations to alleviate human suffering. We've all had to rapidly adapt to a new normal. Many of you will confront or have already confronted unexpected burdens, both in your own lives and in your medical and dental service as a result of the pandemic. We will help you and you will help us as we find our way forward together. However, let us not lose sight of the excitement that awaits you. For all the challenges we currently face, you are entering the medical and dental fields during a transformative era in patient care and the biomedical sciences. It was only in the decade before I was born that we discovered the molecular structure of DNA. Now, we can add, remove, and alter DNA at particular locations in the genome. In the past 10 to 15 years, we've also experienced two revolutions in cancer, precision medicine and immunotherapy. I believe that medical breakthroughs in the next 50 years will dwarf those of the last millennium. And our mission 
is to lead the way toward that new era. You are the physicians of the future who will determine our best path forward. You now have the opportunity to take advantage of the breadth and depth of the Harvard Medical School community, to realize your dreams for who you are and who you will become, to find new ways to rethink dogmas, to challenge conventional wisdom, to use your extraordinary talents to serve others and to make the world a better place. As Dean, I may be biased, but I believe you are at the best possible place to learn the skills and to build the relationships that will help you lead that transformation. Our community is enriched by you, our newest students, and it means so much to us that you have chosen to bring your talents and your dreams to Harvard Medical School, even if only virtually for the moment. I can't wait to see all that you will accomplish. On behalf of Harvard Medical School, our faculty, staff, postdocs, fellow students and alumni, welcome to your first week as physicians in training and congratulations. Although we can't be together in person on campus, it's now my pleasure to present the class of 2024 through the wonders of technology. Nicole Deborah Agaronic. Thank you so much to my family, friends, mentors, and everyone who has made today possible. I'm really excited for this new journey. Andrew Amini. Thank you to my family, friends, and professors for all their love and support on this journey. I can't wait to make you guys proud. Abby Jo Amond. Hi, I'm Abby Amond. I'd like to say thank you to my family, teachers, and research mentors for all of their support over the years. Cyrus Ayubsha. I would like to thank my family and my friends for their support, and I especially want to thank my mother, who sacrificed so much for my success. Alale Ajir. I wanted to thank Peder, Maman Jun, Khaleha, Dai Masood, Maman, Khali to Satun Daram, and Hamichi Majinitunam, and Henri, Shetam, and Merci pour tout que tu fais. Jamie Beck. Clay Beagles. Hello from Oklahoma. I'd like to thank God for this opportunity and my family for their love and support. Julia Biatini. Hi, my name is Julia Biatini. I'm so excited to be starting this new journey with all of you, and I want to thank my friends and family for all of their support. Maggie Beezer. In these unprecedented times, just kidding, shout out to my family, my college friends and mentors, and the people behind the MCAT study guide at Khan Academy. Sebastian Begg. Thank you to my parents and my brother and his family, my girlfriend, my friends and relatives for your endless support and encouragement. And thank you to all the mentors that have guided me along the way. Maya Ilana Weitzner Ben. Thank you to my family, my friends, my mentors in Boston and Chicago, and everyone who's going to have to listen to me talk about dissection at the dinner table. Brian Ezequiel Benitez. Quiero expresar un agradecimiento infinito a mis padres Manuel y María Benitez, tanto como al resto de mi familia. Yo sé que sin su apoyo no pudiera estar aquí hoy. Muchas gracias, les quiero mucho. Besos. Mua. Faroon Bave. While I can't capture everything I'd want to say in 10 seconds, above all, I'm just so excited to get started. Kelsey Drew Biddle. Hi, I'm Kelsey. I am so excited and honored to learn from and grow with all of you. Thank you to friends, family, and mentors for your unwavering support. Catherine Lewis Blanton. A huge thank you to everyone who made this dream possible. 
especially my mom, dad, and sister, and also caffeine. Sarah Blitz. This is a dream I could have never reached without the help of my supportive family who dealt with my craziness. Mom, dad, my sisters, Bubby and Poppy, my uncles, and everyone else, I hope I will always make you proud. Anna Sophia Bagirayev. Thank you to my mother, my father, my brother Sasha, the rest of my family, Shadi, Robert, Hale, Adrian, Jaster, Alice, Amrita, Tim, Paul, and the rest of my friends for their support. Case Edward Brabham. I want to thank my mom, dad, sister, and Nana for all the support they've given me over the past couple of years. And I want to thank Dr. Sicado and the whole team at Scottish Rite for serving as an inspiration to me. Y'all are the best. Micah Brager. Hello to all my new classmates and, of course, my parents. Can't wait to start med school and see you guys soon. Bethany Brumbaugh. In addition to my friends and family, I would also like to thank my professors at the University of North Dakota, as well as my bioethics mentors at Yale and the Hastings Center for their support and shared wisdom. Haley Marie Butler. Hi everyone, my name is Haley. Thank you to everyone who made this virtual white coat ceremony possible and hello to all my classmates, professors, and future mentors. I can't wait to start this journey with all of you. Grace Kavanaugh. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Henry, Evan, and so many others. I love you and I hope to make you proud. Andrew Chang. 想趁这个机会感谢一下我的家人和朋友们，因为你们的陪伴，这趟学路不再孤单。非常高兴，也非常期待以后成为一个助人为乐的医生。Michael Ju Chen. It's virtually impossible to imagine being here today without the support of friends, family, and mentors. I look forward to joining a new community at HNS. Josue Chirinos. Hi everyone, I'm Josue, and I'm so excited to be starting at Harvard Med. I'd like to thank my friends, mentors, family, and significant other. I couldn't have done it without you. And to my future classmates, I can't wait to see you all in person soon. Julia Hyung Cho. Thank you to my dad, mom, brother, and Marcus for always pushing, supporting, and inspiring me. 그리고 한국에 계신 할아버지와 할머니, 하늘 나라에 계신 또 할아버지, 사랑합니다. 아는 축가. Sun Young Chung. My name is Sunny Chung, and I'm very grateful to those who have helped me in life so far, and I'm excited to get to meet my classmates and the talented faculty at HMS as well. Sarah Cohen. I would like to thank my parents, siblings, and grandparents for always being my biggest supporters. I'm so excited to start medical school at HMS. Isabella Stewart Colochi. Thank you to all the family, friends, and mentors who have supported me so far. I'm so excited to start at HMS and I can't wait to meet you all in person soon. Adrian Jacob Kasia. I owe a huge thanks to my family and loved ones and to my mentors at the University of Connecticut and at Harvard. And uh, congratulations to all my classmates. I can't wait to learn with you and, uh, and also from you. Alexa Kurt. Hi friends. I want to give my mom a huge thanks and a virtual hug for helping me turn this dream into a reality and also give a thanks to my mentors at Boston Children's and Mass Gen for support every step of the way. Salvatore Riley D'Addario. I'd like to thank my family for showing me what you can achieve with a little bit of hard work and love. And I want to thank Lauren and Brendan who have always stood by my side. This is for you. Andre Dempsey. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to meet you all. I also just want to thank my parents and everyone else that got me to where I am today. Thank you. Vineet Desai. 
I want to give a huge thank you to my mom, my dad, my brother Rishi, my grandparents Azuba and Baba, and all my family in India for all your love and support. Daniel Doe. To my late mom who passed away four years ago, I wish you were here to witness our dream together. This is my kill is for you. Go to my bye, Yula. John Donlan. I want to thank my family, my friends, and my mentors for helping me get to where I am today. I'm incredibly excited to begin my journey at HMS. Jessica Lou Duggan. Mom and Dad, thanks for believing in things before I thought they were possible. Melissa, thanks for being the best sister and friend. I love you all. Your support means the world to me. Julia Duval. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you to all my family, my friends, and everyone that's been there with me through the highs and the lows. And I'm super excited to start Harvard Medical School with you guys in the fall. Lara Elkavaj. Mom, Dad, and Alec, thank you for your never-ending support. None of this would be possible without you. I love you all so much. Kathleen Eng. Thank you to my family, friends, and mentors for your love and support. To my sister Laura and boyfriend Kevin, you are my rocks. Mom and Dad, your love and guidance is why I'm here. I hope to make you all proud. Alexander Farid. My aggressively Egyptian family, thank you for the sacrifices you've made and patience you've shown. We made it, and I hope I'm able to make you as proud as you've made me. Jean Philo. I want to thank my parents, Abu and Rula. I want to thank my sister Celia for supporting me. I wouldn't be here without any of you. Uh, I really appreciate the sacrifices you've made. Pepcon. Michaela Nicole Flores. I would like to thank my family, my friends, and my mentors for giving me the tools, support, and love to start this incredible journey. I'm eternally grateful for everything you've done for me. Julia Foot. I'm so grateful for this opportunity and I just want to take a moment to thank my mom, dad, Becca, Kat, Tess, and Casey. I love you all so much. <laughs> Alec Friswald. Daniel Gabriel. I want to give a huge shout out to my mom, my dad, my family in Nigeria. Thank you so much for all the sacrifices you made for me. To peers, mentors, all those who supported me, I wouldn't be here without you, so thank you. Andrea Garmilla. Hi everyone, my name is Andrea and I'm super excited to meet all of you. I'd like to take this time to thank all of my family and friends who helped me be where I am today. I love you. Ethiopia Hi everyone, I'm so excited to begin this journey with you and I'm so grateful to my parents, my siblings, my friends and everyone else who helped get me here. Jack Ganem. I want to thank my parents, my brother Musa, my best friend Anthony, my mentors Chris Lee and Chris Horgan for all of your support over the years. Thank you all so much. Duke yeah. I'd like to thank my family, friends, teachers, and mentors who have helped and supported me on my journey. I wouldn't be here today without you all. Thank you. Caroline Nomi Goldfarb. Thank you so much to my family, my friends, and everybody who's inspired me along the way. I'm so excited for this new journey. Susan Selena Gonzalez. Thank you to my friends, family, and mentors for all of your support. I'm so excited to join the class of 2024. Rina Goswami. Today, I give thanks to the loving support of my friends and family and to the sacrifices of my immigrant parents whose legacy I carry with me. Ruby Guo. Big shout out to my parents who sacrificed so much to come to America and have always encouraged me to dream big. 
And to the friends and mentors who have continuously challenged me, I wouldn't be here without you all. Dhruva Gupta. I'd like to thank my classmates, my twin brother, and most importantly, my parents who came to the United States to become physicians and make a difference in healthcare. Thank you. Roxana Hagigat. I am grateful and proud beyond words to stand here today as a daughter of my endlessly supportive parents, Shaheen and Mohammed. Many thanks to my sister, Layla, for always illuminating the path forward. Tamber Hart. TJ Hazen. My favorite airport, flying to Boston. I'll see y'all soon. Luke He. I'd like to thank my family for giving me the opportunity to pursue my dreams, as well as my friends and mentors for their guidance along the way. Thank you. <laughs> Bara Hijaz. I'm going to be a doc. Lobani Hawk. Thank you, Tunnabad, to my family, friends, and mentors whose love has inspired and supported me. I'm excited to begin this journey with everyone at HMS. Lynn Her. Hi, everyone. I want to thank my parents, my entire family, my best friends, Jackie, Emily, and Jack, and my wonderful mentors. Thank you for your unending support and love and for tuning in to celebrate. Oluwa Bemisola Ibi Kunle. Hello, everyone. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God, my friends, the professors and advisors at Indiana University Bloomington who've always supported me and my family. Ariel Isaacson. I'm so excited to be starting medical school at HMS, and I'm endlessly grateful to the family, friends, and mentors who have helped me get to this point. Maud Otten Jansen. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Fu Chang. I can you nooit genoeg bedanken, and I hou heel veel van jullie. Rohan Jha. Thank you, Papa and Mommy, for all of your love, dedication, support, and sacrifice. This wouldn't have been possible without you both. Do not get caught up with you. Olivia Khan Bozell. This has been my dream for as long as I can remember. Thank you to my family, friends, and mentors, especially to my mom, for helping me get here. I hope to make you all proud wearing this coat. Taran Kamat. Thank you to all of my mentors throughout undergraduate, uh, my friends, and most importantly, my family. I look forward to the journey ahead. Apurva Kanaganti. Abigail Kemp. Not to be corny, but thanks to my friends and family for helping me make it to Harvard Medical School. Zoe Anais Kibbalar. Hi, I'm so excited to meet you all. I just wanted to say um, thank you, Mama, Papa, Sanya, and Kirill, and thanks to my friends for supporting me, and to JJ for staying relatively still during this video. Jane Kilhoffner. Thank you so much to my mentors, friends, and family. I love you guys, and I truly couldn't have gotten here today without your support. Daniel Myungjun Kim. To my fellow classmates, we've only known each other virtually in a couple of months, but you already feel like family, and I'm so excited to learn and grow with you guys these next years. Much love. EJ Kim. Nicole Hana Kim. A special thanks to my family, friends, and mentors for their inspiration and guidance over the years. And hello to my new fellow classmates. Excited to begin this journey with you all. Madeline Klein. Thank you so much, Mom, Dad, Rebecca, Ben, Cody, Nani, and Poppy, to all my friends and mentors from college. And I can't wait to meet all you classmates. 
Edward Lingshin Kong. Thank you to my mom, my dad, my grandma, and grandpa for all of your love and support. You are my inspiration, and I hope I'll make you proud. Felicita Bustos Cooperwasser. Thank you to everyone who was part of getting me here. Congratulations to all my classmates. Uh, go COVID class, class of 2024. Woo! Um, and to my mom and abuelita, si se puede. Tyler Lacomer. Thank you to my family and friends who have supported me throughout this journey, and big thank you to SNMA for already making medical school feel like home. Daniela Lee. Thank you to my family and friends for always supporting me. Let's be happy and healthy together forever. Amma apa jengani, sarangye. Charlie Changwon Lee. Congratulations to the class of 2024. I'm really excited to start this journey with you. I want to give my special thanks to my friends, my mentors, and most importantly, my beloved family. Thank you. Ga Yong Lee. I'm so excited to be starting this journey with such inspirational people. I also want to give a huge thanks to my family and mentors for their support, encouragement, and all the values that they taught me. Sung Won Lee. Thank you to my parents for your sacrifices. Thank you to my brother for putting up with me. Congratulations on your wedding. Thank you to my teachers and friends. I couldn't have done it without you all. William Zhuo Ming Li. Hello there. I'm Will from California. I'm so honored to start this new journey and learn medicine alongside my amazing classmates. I can't wait to get to know everyone and meet you all in person. Cheers. Catherine Lee. I'd like to thank my family, especially my parents, my friends, and my mentors who have supported me along the path to medical school. I'm excited to take this next step in my journey to become a physician. Hi, my name is Sienna Lee. I'm from Portland, Oregon, and I'm really excited to start learning medicine with y'all. Gina Liu. Hello to all my new classmates. I'm so honored and excited to be starting this journey with you, and I can't wait to see what the next couple years will throw at us. Martha Longley. Thank you to all of my mentors, role models, family and friends for all of their support and help every step of the way. I'm so excited to be part of the entering class of 2020. Nancy Liu. I wanted to thank my undergrad mentors and my parents for getting me here. It's been amazing and I'm so excited to see what comes next. Erica Eleanor Lynn Green. Hey HMS, I'm so excited to be here with you all. I'd like to give a huge thank you to my parents, my family, my mentors, and my partner, Daniel Packard. Eliana Marostica. Hi everyone, my name is Eliana. I want to say a big thank you to my family, my friends, my coaches, and my mentors for always believing in me, supporting me, and bringing so much joy to my life. Ulysses Marquez Valenzuela. I want to thank God, my family, friends, uh, teachers, professors, and everyone else who has helped me get to this point in my life. Rory Vu Mather. I only have 10 seconds, I want to thank as many people as possible. I want to thank my dad, my brothers, Guanlan, Chase, Gabby, Lauren for actually accepting me, Aunt Yuko, Emily, and everyone else I couldn't fit. Angela Mercurio. My name is Angela Mercurio and I'm super excited to be starting at Harvard Medical School this fall. I want to thank my mom and my dad and the rest of my family and friends for supporting me. I'm super excited to be on this journey with you all. Maya Messenger. Gracias, mami, papi, Nico, Nina, Bobe, y Seide por siempre apoyarme. Los quiero. So excited to finally be starting medical school. Amitai Miller. Hey, fam. Thanks so much for being here. Elizabeth Minton. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. 
I'm excited to start medical school. And I just want to say thank you to my family for being so supportive. Lily Sparrow Murfakre. I want to say thank you to all my friends, family, and teachers in West Virginia and across the country. I'm so grateful to be here and so excited to begin this journey as a medical student. Anjali Misra. My gratitude is really endless, but my biggest thanks are to my dad, who was a Dr. Misra I aspire to become, and my mom and my sister, who have been there for it all. Thank you so much. Matthew Kyler Mitchell. My name is Matt Mitchell. I'm so excited to meet all of you. I'm moving to Boston starting in the fall. So if you guys are also moving, hit me up. I'm sure you can guess my email. Allison Mosier Mills. I'm Allison. I'm from outside of Philadelphia and I studied history and global health. Thank you so much to my family for your support and I'm so excited to get started. Orgilma Munchbatter. Thank you to my parents for always showing me how to be brave and kind, to my grandfather for his legacy of love, and to my two younger brothers who make my life a joy. Let's be brave together. Sula Bahi Ndusa Feder. Emily Neeson. Thank you to the friends and family who made this possible, and to the class of 2024. I'm so excited to start this journey with you. Wesley Norlin. Doctor, what's the diagnosis? Examine your patient. <laughs> Haley Novis. Arinze Mwabata. Stefan Olson. I just want to say thanks to all those who supported and encouraged me over the years, especially my friends, my family, and my girlfriend Alex and her family. Koya Osada. To my classmates, although our first year plans have been disrupted by COVID-19, I know that it hasn't weakened our excitement and energy, and I'm eager to begin this journey together with you guys. I, Shvarya Panikam. Hello, everyone. My name is Ash. I would like to thank my friends and professors at Johns Hopkins, my Fulbright family, and my mom, dad, and little sister. Thank you for all of your support. Matthew Quincy Parsons. Hi, I'm Matthew Parsons from Waco, Texas. I wanted to thank my parents, Heidi and Mike, and my brother, Michael, for being my biggest supporters. Luchit Patel. Hi everyone, coming to you from New Jersey. It's still so surreal to be part of the incoming class at HMS and really looking forward to being up in Boston and all the memories ahead. Michael Perschla. Thank you to my mom, my dad, my sister Alex, and the rest of our family for your constant support. Tasia Polisetti. It's a huge honor and privilege, but I wouldn't be here without the work ethic and positive mindset I got from my friends and mentors, and all the sacrifices and care that I got from my parents. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to what lies ahead. Nicholas Pooks. Thank you to my family, to my care team, and to my mentors. I wouldn't be here without you. I look forward to following in your example and caring for others as you care for me. Gina Mary Chu. Hi everyone. I'd like to thank my mentors, my friends, and especially my family for supporting me to get to this milestone on my path to becoming a physician. And I'm so excited to be a part of this amazing class. Claire Quinlan. 10 seconds is not enough time. Uh, thank you to parents who remind me to take a breath. Uh, brothers who remind me to laugh, and a grandma who reminds me to bloom where I'm planted. Bijal Rajput. Hi everyone, my name is Bijal, and I was born in Bombay and raised in Virginia. 
Thank you to everyone, especially my mom, dad, and brother, whose love, hard work, and sacrifice is the reason I'm here today following my dreams. Nereida Ramirez. Finally, the moment I've been waiting for my whole life. I get to put on my baby's white coat. <laughs> Sanjana Rane. I want to thank my friends, mentors, and family for all of their love and support. Today I am reminded especially of my parents and grandparents whose sacrifices made this dream possible. I hope to be... Shahan Razak. Congratulations! Congratulations. Time to turn up. And they always say congratulations. Jared and Ray. Grant Rue. Hi, I'd like to dedicate this white coat to my family, friends, and mentors who supported me throughout this journey. And I'd also like to dedicate this white coat to my grandfather who passed away earlier this month. Anna Roselle. I'm Anna, and I just want to thank my family, my friends, and all my supportive mentors, and my partner for helping me get here today and be with y'all. Claire Russian. Thank you to my mom, my dad, my brother, and all the friends, family, and mentors who made it possible for me to be here today. Trinity Russell. Thank you to my mom, my dad, and my sister Charity for your sacrifice and unconditional support. I love you all dearly. Justine Rudder. Hello everyone. A special thanks to my mom and dad. I wish I could tell you that in person. To the rest of my class, I can't wait to meet you and go through this amazing training together. Shaheen Saberi. Thank you to my friends, family, and mentors for supporting me and guiding me to, to this point in my life, and I hope to make you proud, and I'm super excited for the next four years. Natalie Sadlak. I'd like to thank my friends, family, and mentors for supporting me along my journey, but most importantly, I'd like to thank my parents. Mom, Dad, thank you for everything you've sacrificed so that I can be here. Arushi Saini. I'd especially like to thank my parents, my brother, and my loved ones for supporting me in my journey thus far. Thank you all and love you so very much. Inam Sakina To my family, friends, and mentors, thank you for all the doors you've opened for me. I can't ever pay you back, but I do hope to pay it forward in the doors I open for others and the difference I make. Michaela Lexi Sandler I want to send a big thank you and a hug to my friends, my family, my teachers, my dogs, and everyone who helped get me to this point. Thank you, and I love you. Anissa Ceylani. Allow fun all my love to mom, dad, Lua, Nava, my grandparents, and my whole family. Thank you so much for all your support and sacrifices. I will keep trying to do some good. Dominic Delaney Schnabel. Thank you to my family, friends, and mentors from Claremont to New Haven to everywhere in between. Special thank you to Hung for all of your love and support. I hope I can make you all proud. Emily Schneider. I'd like to thank my friends and teammates, my mentors throughout the years, and most of all my family. To Michael, mom, and dad, I love you and could not have done it without you. Hugh Shirley. I'd like to thank my family, especially my mom and dad, for their endless support, my friends for the good times that got me through the hard times, and my many mentors for their guidance and passion. Andre Small. I feel honored and energized to begin my medical training alongside such talented individuals. Together, we will become the leaders who shape the future of medicine. Sarika. Srinivasan. 
If you ask any of my friends or family, they'll tell you my dream was always to go to Harvard Medical School, so it's only fitting that I get to thank them now. I love you all, and I won't let you down. Bryce Starr. Really excited to be starting medical school. I want to give a big shout out to my friends and family, especially my parents and sister. Um, definitely wouldn't be here without you guys. Gracias por todos. Steven Stearns. I want to thank my parents, my brother and sister, and all of my friends for the unconditional love and support you have given me to help me achieve this dream. I couldn't have done it without you. Lansing Leohu Sugita. Aloha Kako. Mahalo to my teachers and mentors for guiding me throughout this journey. And a big mahalo to my Ohana. Thank you, Mom and Dad, so much for all your love and support. Jimmy Sun. Shout out to my friends and family for being with me throughout all these years. Love you guys. As for everyone else, looking forward to meeting y'all soon. Shanze Tahir. Hi, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has touched my life and helped me to get to HMS, especially my family and my mentors. Maya Talakdar. The arms of my coat are a little too long on me right now, but as HMS teaches me to extend a hand to all my future patients, I hope I'll grow into it. I can't wait. Viria Kate Tanatwatanajaran. Hello from Wisconsin. Um, I can't wait to meet you all. Thank you so much again to my family, friends, and partner for their support. Christy Zaliosa. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be joining Harvard Medical School Class of 2024, and I want to thank my family, friends, and mentors for their endless support and for always believing in me. Amanda Erke. In this white coat, I strive to emulate my mom's caregiving, honor my very first patients, my dad and grandpa, give back to family, friends, and communities, and pay forward the mentorship that I stand on today. Meghna Kasturi Bagwala. I'm so excited to begin on this journey and thank you from the bottom of my heart to all the loved ones and mentors who've supported me at each step. Haley Varnum. Thank you to my family, my friends, my research mentors, and everyone else that supported me along the way. I'm looking forward to a lifetime of more learning. Tyler Warner. I'd like to thank my family and friends, especially Mom, Dad, Jared, Brandon, and Megan for your endless support for helping get one step closer to becoming a physician. Nathan Watson. Hi, my name is Nathan Watson and I'm from Tampa, Florida. I'm really excited about starting medical school at HMS. I want to thank my parents and my brothers, Grant and Jared, for their support in helping me get to this point. Shelby Wilkinson. A huge thank you to friends, mentors, and of course my family. And I can't wait to get started on medical training alongside an incredible class. Derek Williams. Hi everyone. I'm so excited to be attending Harvard with you all, but I wouldn't be sitting here right now if it wasn't for my fantastic fiance, Bailey. Haley Lane Winstead. Thanks to my family. You guys taught me how to dream when everything was against us. Thanks for showing me to stand in the sun and to never throw away my shot. I love you guys to infinity and beyond. Brianna Wright. Thank you to my family, friends, and mentors. I couldn't have done this without your support, encouragement, and prayers. Um, I hope to make you proud. David Housen Xiong. Thank you to my friends, my mentors and teachers, uh, my family, and most importantly, my parents for always supporting me on my journey and continuing my dream to become a doctor. Raylin Fan Shu. 
I just want to say thank you to all of my mentors who have guided me towards medicine and to the Boston communities that have welcomed me so warmly already. Excited to get started and meet all of you. Sherry Yang. Thank you to my partner, Jonathan, for encouraging me to think deeper. And to my family, mom, dad, and Windsor for leading by example and teaching me about humility, compassion, and empathy. Well, I need one. Alan Ziwan Yang. Hi everyone, just wanted to say thank you to my friends and mentors, and most of all my mom, dad, and sister Amanda for being a constant source of strength and love. Alexander Yearly Thank you to my friends and family for being so incredibly supportive throughout this entire process. Thank you mom and dad for teaching me the importance of touching other people's lives in whatever way you can. Catherine Young I'd like to thank my parents and my brother, Chris, for making everything possible, and to my friends and my mentors for always supporting me and for making the world a better place. Taylor Zabel. Mary Ann Zhao. Thank you to my mom, my dad, and my older sister, Caroline, for their constant support in helping me reach med school. In class of 2024 plus, I can't wait to meet you guys. Zua Joe Zhao. I'm beyond excited to embark on this journey with all of you guys. Thank you to all my friends who have shown me unconditional support along the way. Last but not least, Lao Ba Lao Ma, why you man? Yo Yuan Peter Zheng. Uh, I would like to thank my family, uh, my uncle, my grandma, my wife, and my wife. Thank you for your support. I would also like to thank my mentors and friends for their unending support. I would not be here without you all. Thank you. Samuel Zinga. I want to say thank you to all my family, friends, and mentors who made this possible. I love you all and I wouldn't be here without you. Abigail Zuckerman. Modern medicine saved my life. 17 grateful years in remission later, I'm thrilled to be starting my own journey to becoming a physician. I'll always be inspired by those who've taken such great care of me. Thank you to each of you for sharing about your life, your family, and your goals. We are humbled by the trust you place in us to teach you what you need to know to be outstanding physicians and to mentor you on your journey toward your preferred career. Let me assure you that you are well equipped to excel in this environment. Yours is a historic class. You are dynamic, sturdy, nimble, and above all, committed. You are built for this, and we are excited to begin this journey with you. As we close out this portion of the white coat ceremony, I would like to leave you with three requests as you travel through the virtual and physical corridors of HMS. You are entering the world of excessive acronyms, so it's only fitting that I summarize these thoughts using the acronym HMS. The H stands for have each other's back, all medical students, no matter their temperament, are goal-oriented, driven to succeed, and able to produce high-quality work independently. The independent drive towards success may have helped you to get to HMS as it did me, but that is not the most important quality needed to excel here. Successful progression through the HMS curriculum requires collaboration and teamwork. Each member of the team will bring unique skills, strengths, and even challenges that the entire team will need to embrace and complement. You should have each other's back, supporting and helping each other so that you all succeed. Some of my fondest memories as an HMS student harken back to times when my classmates studied together in the wee hours of the morning. We kept going until we all knew the material, even though some grasped it quicker than others. We made each other better. The teamwork forged in the classroom is preparation for absolute reliance on the team on the wards. You need to have each other's back whether you envision yourself as a clinician, educator, clinical researcher, health policy maven, or physician scientist. Please commit today to have each other's back from the beginning. You all will be better for it. M, make time for self-reflection. It is no secret that medical school is an immersive experience. You will use every tool you know to memorize, integrate, and accumulate knowledge. If you're not careful, you can be absolutely consumed by the learning with little time for processing what you are feeling. I don't know a medical student who hasn't felt this way at one time or another. 
I encourage you as you plan your work and work your plan to make time to think about who you are becoming in the midst of the studying, to reflect on your growth as a student. During this time of self-reflection, I implore you to examine your progress across stretches of time, rather than allowing yourself to perseverate about a particular assessment or assignment that didn't go the way you had hoped. In order to grow as a physician, you have to make time to be still, reflective, and brutally honest. Make time, sequester it away as sacred and important, because it is. Consider it a savings plan for your sanity, wellness, and growth, and guard it as such. Finally, S is for stand up. You are entering medical school at a critical time in our nation's history. The assaults on humanity are numerous. The COVID-19 pandemic has drawn into stark focus long-standing inequalities in healthcare outcomes in the US with a disproportionate burden of illness and death from COVID-19 among racial and ethnic minority groups. The nation is also reverberating with cries for justice and civil rights. Since January, more than 22 transgender or gender non-conforming individuals have been murdered, most of them women of color. Most of these murders remain underreported and unsolved. We've watched the video of jogger Ahmad Arbery being gunned down by vigilantes. We've witnessed the senseless murders by police of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd, and in some cases participated in protests calling for justice for them and drastic police reform for all. Some of you knelt down for eight minutes and 46 seconds, hoping that your solidarity would inspire change. You've challenged institutions to become anti-racist and challenged yourself to be more aware. The pandemic has unmasked deep fractures in our educational system, stressed families and businesses to the brink of collapse, and increased intimate partner violence and child abuse. The United States is in peril and in need of healing in so many spheres. Into this turmoil, you come as medical students uniquely positioned by virtue of your station and vocation to stand up. Stand for something. Stand for children, for intimate partners afraid for their lives, for people of color bearing an excessive burden of disease and for sexual and gender minorities. Stand up for the homeless, the disenfranchised, the incarcerated, those with mental illness and the terminally ill. Whatever your personal, clinical, research, spiritual or cultural interests or leanings, stand for something. On Friday, July 17th, 2020, we mourned the death of John Lewis, civil rights leader, freedom rider, and congressman from Georgia for more than three decades. In 2018, he tweeted something that motivates me and I hope will inspire you today, even as you consider how to stand up. He said, do not get lost in a sea of despair. Be hopeful, be optimistic. Our struggle is not a struggle of a day, a week, a month, or a year. It is the struggle of a lifetime. Never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. I hope that you will take these words to heart as you begin your HMS journey. Have each other's back, make time for self-reflection and stand up. Never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble to improve the healthcare, civil rights and safety of others. We welcome you now to take a 15 minute break and then rejoin us for a live Zoom session to hear the presentation of the Medical Student Oath, which was written this past week by members of the class of 2024. Thank you.